Well, my first experience was being able to go in. It was when I moved here at limitations, but I was able to use a cane and get in. Uh, but that ended mm, about five years in. Uh, now it's Walker at best. And I love the post. The post office is wonderful. It's a lot. It's, it's more than a post office. It's a place. It's a, uh, people talking, enjoying each other. It's gorgeous, gorgeous view of the whole city. It's um, really it has a little bit of all of the heart of Port Townsend. It's what I call banished in place, uh, which is what happens to a lot of people with either permanent disabilities or disabilities or just plain aging. So it will happen to all of us. Um, so it's no, this is not, this is, there's nothing special interest about this. This is for all of us. First did I was going to write a letter to the editor, but I'm not a good I'm not good with words. So I did a cartoon, which actually it was my form of a letter, which they published as on the opinion page as a cartoon. And then um, that and I'm a member of the M local MS support group. Wonderful, wonderful people. Um, really, one of the the treasures in Port Townsend is that group of people. Very positive. So, and I went into the meeting and that I just, I've had it, I'm going to do something. And what I expected was support. What I got was a volcano of support because one person couldn't do it and I certainly couldn't do it alone. But everywhere, the MS group, just people on the street, even with people who felt it was essentially hopeless, it was still a strong desire to change it. It was, it was just waiting to erupt. So I didn't have to start anything. All I had to do was uncap a little bit. <laughs> um, and with that support and just the support of anybody I talked to about it or whenever the subject came up, and it did, of course, a lot because that was affected a lot of people, not just the disabled and elderly. Um, so the first place I went to was DASH because we're lucky enough to have an organization of people who advocate for disabled people, for access, for ever, not just disabled people, but universal access.